The Princeton Physics Department for me is an amazing place to work. Along one corridor I have colleagues and postdocs and graduate students that are doing some of the most exciting work and research uh, in physics all in one place. It's, it's amazing to see that yeah, we're still discovering new things and, and working on that together as a community. So my research focuses on dark matter. Dark matter comprises the vast majority of all the matter in the universe. So something like 85% of all the matter that's out there is dark to us. Uh, the remaining 15%, which is everything we learn about in high school, stuff that's in the periodic table, all of that's the remaining 15%. So the vast majority of what's out there, we have very little idea about, and my work focuses on trying to understand the properties of that mysterious component. So the nature of dark matter affects how our universe evolves, pretty much from the birth of the universe, the time of the Big Bang, all the way up until today. It uh, sets the structure of galaxies across the entire span of the universe and how those galaxies themselves evolve. So understanding the properties of dark matter is a key component to essentially understanding how we got to where we are today. Physics as a discipline, we try to understand basically how quantum phenomena, for example, takes place in nature. And one of the things that's a frontier of quantum phenomena is understanding how many particles interact with one another and produce quantum phenomena, what we call the many-body quantum physics. This is one of the frontiers of, of the field. And basically, these material systems that we study provides model systems which we can, can tackle this problem to try to understand quantum mechanics of many bodies. And in specifically, what we try to do is try to image this phenomena and correlate them with basically theoretical understanding to basically build models in which we can predict how correlation effects between electrons can give rise to complex quantum behavior. Here at Princeton, the community of biophysicists, we study a wide range of organisms, all the way from tiny single cell organisms, uh, all the way up to, to mammals. Biophysicists are particularly interested in emergent phenomena, how it is that collections of cells or neurons or individual animals actually work together to accomplish something greater than the sum of their parts. In the worm, I study a collection of neurons that make up this worm's brain. It has only 302 neurons, so it's much simpler than a human that has 10 to the 11th neurons. And uh, each of these neurons alone are fairly simple, but when they're communicating with each other in a network, they're able to perform some pretty amazing things. The Gravity Initiative is a center here at Princeton that brings together people from astronomy, physics, and math, all tackling questions about gravity and compact objects like black holes and neutron stars. Black holes are the most compact which means volume per uh, mass objects that we have in our universe. They're these mysterious objects that you take so much mass and you cram it into such a small area that you get the emergence of this thing called an event horizon. The event horizon is this region of space from which nothing can escape. It's like a one-way door. If anything, even light passes into it, it can never come back out to us. Working on research uh, is a great experience for graduate students, but it's also a great experience for a professor because, again, the questions are often arising from a conversation. And sometimes research projects start from those conversations where indeed the graduate student is asking the right question, and that leads to a new idea in research. I hope to someday also be a professor in biophysics. I, I want to stay in academia and I absolutely love doing research, so I think Princeton's a really good place to kind of help me get to that point. So I'm an experimental cosmologist and I study the earliest light in the universe. I work on the SPIDER experiment in Bill Jones Group at Princeton. So the SPIDER experiment is a telescope that looks at the cosmic microwave background and it flies on a balloon about 40 kilometers in the air around Antarctica. So we flew the experiment in Antarctica just this winter. We got enough data for us to work with and we're going to start processing that data now. So the data that SPIDER collects is light from the earliest universe, specifically the polarization of the cosmic microwave background. So we're looking at something called the B modes of that polarization to look for evidence of early gravitational waves. The chance of going down to Antarctica is really exciting for me because it's very rare to do that as a graduate student in most groups in science, I think. It's also very rare in the lifetime of this experiment to be the, the group of people I get to go to, to actually fly it. But I think there is this realization all across the U.S. about the, the importance of quantum science. 
And that's an area where we have been thriving in by hiring faculty in this area for quite some time. And it looks like we're going to be able to expand that effort looking into the future from the support we get from the university. And I think this is critical because this is going to be one of the key exciting areas in physics to work in.